The common advice for building a WordPress blog is to use a high quality WordPress theme or a framework like Studio Press's Genesis Pro. I even see a lot of successful bloggers recommending starting out with Genesis Pro. And I am by no means saying that a high quality WordPress theme or a high quality framework like Studio Press's aren't good, well-made products. They are. The problem is that if you want to make even basic changes to the look of your website, you will soon discover that you need to know HTML, CSS, and PHP. And that can take months to learn. And I just don't think that most people want to go through all of that effort just to build a WordPress blog. So if using a WordPress theme or framework isn't the best way to make a WordPress blog, what should you do instead? In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly that. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. So a WordPress theme and a framework, what are they? The first thing that we need to do is understand a little bit about how WordPress works and what a theme and a framework actually do. A WordPress website is made up of essentially two different parts. There is the database, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's like a fancy spreadsheet that holds all of the content on your website. So for your blog posts, there are different columns, like the title of your blog, the content of your blog post, the featured image, the author, tags and categories, and those are for each of your blog posts. And the same structure is used for all types of content on your website. So for pages, or if you have an online store, the products on your online store. And I mean, you could put up a website like this, but that's not the way that we're used to seeing and reading content. We aren't computers. We need content to be laid out in a way that is nice looking and easy to read. And that's what a WordPress theme does. A WordPress theme is the code that takes those different cells from the database and lays them out into nice looking pages and blog posts. A framework like Genesis Pro is a lightweight theme that has all of the basic design parts that a website needs pre-programmed so it's faster and easier for a web developer who knows how to code to get started and create a great custom design. And that's the problem with traditional themes and frameworks. The design of your website is hard-coded in HTML, CSS, and PHP. Some themes do give you a limited set of controls to modify design aspects of your site, like the ability to change some of the basic colors or maybe even some basic layout options. But any other changes that you would want to make, you would need to modify the code of your theme. So is there an alternative to using a WordPress theme? Yes, there is. Instead of using a WordPress theme, you could use a page builder. A page builder is a piece of design software that allows you to use a drag and drop builder to design every aspect of your website without you needing to know how to code. And these are awesome. My two favorite are the Divi theme and Elementor Pro. Both are popular, powerful tools that make it much easier to design a website without you needing to know how to code. But there's still a problem for most of us. And that is what I like to call the blank page problem. The problem with building your blog using a page builder is that once you've installed that page builder, you have this blank screen staring back at you and you need to figure out what your website design should be. If you're a designer, you might actually be really excited about this opportunity. And if you do love design and you want to learn how to design a blog from scratch, check out this tutorial right here. But if the idea of a blank screen makes you anxious and think that maybe you're just better off with a WordPress theme, even if that means that you're stuck with the design that you're given, then I've got some good news for you. There is a third option. There's a way to get the convenience of a pre-designed WordPress theme with the flexibility of a page builder that you can use to modify the look of your website without you needing to spend months learning how to code. The best page builders allow you to upload pre-designed website templates. And with a website template, you don't need to start from scratch. You can find professionally designed blog templates that you can upload and use for your website. With the page builder, you can easily change any aspect of the design that you want without you needing to know how to code. But it's actually even better than that. You don't need to just stick with one blog template. You can actually mix and match templates. So if you like the design from the blog feed from one template, you can use that. And then you can use the homepage design from another template and the about us page design from another template. You can even get more granular than that and use different page sections from different designs. This makes building your blog more like using Lego blocks rather than trying to create everything from scratch. So how do these pre-built templates work? It's pretty simple actually, and using a blog template is much more powerful than a theme. 
There are many different places where you can find professionally designed blog templates. Usually you can either pay for each template individually, or you can subscribe and get the access to hundreds or thousands of additional templates. Once you've found a template that you like, you can download it to your computer in the same way that you would download a professional WordPress theme. From here, you can use the upload feature from your page builder to upload the individual page design layouts. Or some website template companies even offer plugins that will help you to load these pre-made templates onto your website. Okay, but what are the downsides of using a blog website template instead of a theme? Well, the initial setup of a WordPress theme is just easier. Really, with a WordPress theme, there isn't much to do. You can select your WordPress theme either from the WordPress theme library, or you can install a professional theme by uploading its zip file to your website. From there, there are a, probably a few different options for me to choose from, but the design of your website is essentially done. You just need to start writing blog posts. With a website template for a page builder, you will need to first install the page builder, then find your website template. From there, you'll need to install each page of the template onto your website. So it's a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more complicated than a basic WordPress theme. The overall cost for a page builder and a website template can be higher than that of a typical WordPress theme. But then again, if you look at Genesis Pro, that's $360 for the year. And you can absolutely get a page builder and multiple blog templates much cheaper than that. And to me, the flexibility of being able to change whatever I want to on my website without needing to know how to code definitely makes it worth the time and effort of installing and using a page builder with a pre-made template. So how can you find a well-designed user-friendly template for your WordPress blog? Well, it is true that most page builders do include pre-designed website templates when you purchase the pro version of their product. But honestly, I've never really liked any of the website templates that come with page builders. To me, they just don't look good. So I decided to find alternative resources for blog templates. And there are a lot of options out there. However, there's one particular resource that I really like. They have thousands of WordPress templates for Elementor Pro and maybe the largest collection of blog specific website templates. I actually went into a really deep dive on their blog website templates. And I looked at and tested each and every single blog template that they offer. And in this video here, I'll show you where I found all of those website templates, and I'll show you what to look for so that you can choose a quality blog template for your website. 